Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Prayer to the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, I'm coming to you guys, guys again with another quick video. Another video to destroy these lies of these so-called Christians and Catholics. See, even till today, I'm sitting here listening to some of these, uh, these YouTubers talking about their Christianity and their Christian beliefs. All, you know, pretty much still align themselves with the right hand, or the right side here of these, um, you know, Republicans, right wing Republicans, making it seem as if, you know, they have the truth. And um, thinking as if they are the, tr the light of the world. I'm here to tell you guys a little something today, especially you Christians. When it talks about coming out of Babylon, that invitation was never extended to you. You are Babylon. You don't get the opportunity to leave Babylon and then still proclaim your BS Christianity. Your Christianity was set up to bring confusion. And as long as you seem to think that we have to continue in your system in order to fix everything in your system, you're sadly mistaken. I was listening to this one YouTuber and he was talking about, you know, I guess there is a protest with the uh, black militia in Kentucky and he was pretty much talking a lot of crap. You know, and he's like, well, he, uh, the guy's, you know, he's very condescending the way he talks to people. And he was calling, you know, talking about the leader of Grandmaster Jay and, and things like that. And pretty much he was like, well, you know, Ron, Rand Paul was trying to help them and they, and they ended up attacking him. You know, he's trying to help them and trying to pass a law to help them with Brianna. He couldn't even, he didn't even know her last name. He was kind of like making fun of her, mocking her name. I'm like, that's cool, man. I said, just, just make sure you remember this when the Most High opens up your eyes and you realize how wrong you, you've been. Talking about his Christianity and all about love. And he was actually talking about the, uh, the black militia and saying, well, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Pretty much implying like because they're being aggressive, which they're not. They're just, you know displaying their weapons like you guys love to do you so-called christians who love this country so much you don't have a problem when it's your country just you know having their shows when they're you know showing their b-52 bombers you know and all of their weaponry and stuff like that when having parades they don't have a problem with that that's okay that's being patriotic but when someone else you know on the other side displays their weapons then they're militias and they're being violent and you know, and things of that, of that sort. But see, the main point is this. You get, like usual, you skip over the 500 plus years of you guys being aggressive, you guys living by the sword. And then when someone else, as like a supposed black person shows up with some kind of uh, a weapon, then it's their being aggressive and that they're going to, if they want to live by the sword, they're going to die by the sword. That's exactly what you and your church has been doing this entire time. But that's okay. Because now we see you. We see you perfectly, you know, perfectly clear now. And how much, you know, what hypocrites you guys are. You guys always love to talk about, you know, come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon. You were never extended that invitation. And I'm going to show you with precepts right here in this one verse. That this was never talking about you. We're talking about Revelation 18 and 4, which is very famous. Talking about coming out of Babylon. That was talking to the Most High's chosen people. It was not talking to you Gentiles who are all up in these Christian churches. See, they, they sit here and, try, and this guy tries to use the Bible, but he's, he's so ill-equipped. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. It's like, he's a prime example when you watch him. Like, dude, put the book down. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. And that's the vast majority of these Christians. So let's take a look here at uh, Zechariah 2 and 6. Okay. 
Let's see, before I want to start it exactly. Because, you know, they said these older Bibles had a lot of information. That's why you all took them out. That's why when you read on, you know, when you read on yourself, they take all these precepts because they don't want you putting the two and two together. Remember, here a little, there a little. These give you the understanding. So they take out the understanding. They take out the context. So then they can just make up whatever. Revelation 18 and 4 is talking to Hebrews. That's why it tells you, uh, you know, the Gentiles to cleave to the Hebrews. There is a pecking order. There is order. You're not going to be coming up in here trying to teach our scriptures. And as long as you keep doing that, you're going to remain ignorant. And, you, and every time you open your mouth, you're going to be showing yourself to people who know. People who understand. It says, uh, ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land okay, of the north, saith the, saith the Most High. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, saith the Lord. Okay, so let's take a look at the precepts so we know exactly what's going on here in this one verse here. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. So right there, we're just telling us to pretty much, you know, take a look at Isaiah 48 and 20. So let's go there real quick. You need your Bibles today, all right? I'm not going to put them up because I know you um, these verses because you guys can find them yourselves. Isaiah 48 and 20, plus I'm going to read them anyways. Isaiah 48 and 20. Go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans, with a voice of singing, declare ye, tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth. Say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. Who is he redeeming? He's redeeming his servant Jacob. Jacob. Is he redeeming? Is he redeeming the wicked? No. Is he redeeming the church? No. He's not giving you guys that opportunity because you are Babylon. You have brought great confusion to the world. So he's not telling you to flee your own churches. He has nothing to do with you. He, has, he wants nothing to do with you. That's why he's put these uh, spirits on top of you to lead you astray. So right there, he's talking about saving. All right. He's redeeming his servant, Jacob. He's given us back the things that we lost. Like he said he would. Let's continue. Okay. Well, that's also talking about Revelation 18 and 4. So let's go there real fast. So y'all love to talk about that in the churches. But you take it and make it seem as if he's talking to you Christians. He's talking to you guys in your Christian churches or your Catholic churches. He's not. He's talking about redeeming Jacob. We already got, we already, you know, clarified that. He's redeeming his servant, Jacob. He's redeeming the 12 tribes of Israel. He is not redeeming the churches that have gone across the whole world and done nothing but push Babel, push confusion. So he was never even talking to you. So now when you do go to Revelation chapter 18, verse 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. That's not everybody. So you guys have taken my people and given it to anybody who says, why Jesus? Again, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. See, you wicked, you ones that were in the churches, you ones who are talking about black people and talking about how bad we are and, and everything else. and But you should also push saying that your church is all about love. But you sit there and, you know, on one side of your mouth, you talk about love. On the other side of your mouth, you talk all this mess about black people and how, you know, you just kind of mock them. You mock their peril. You mark their, you just mock their destruction. And that's cool because we're going to do the same thing to you. So it's right there. So come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. These are the sins and plagues that you have brought upon yourself. So the Most High is telling us, his people, to come out of that BS. 
to come out of that mess, to get this knowledge and understanding, to be able to see the lies of Babylon. See, apparently you can't see the lies of Babylon, so therefore you're stuck in Babylon. And these plagues are coming after you. That's the destruction is coming for you. So it is not talking about you guys in the church. So please stop acting like, you know, you have the opportunity to come out of Babylon. Please show me where it says that it's, it's talking about Gentiles. Please show me that you guys get to teach us still about our book. You can't. That's why you just you just say certain, you'll say half a verse here and half a verse there and act like it's making some kind of sense when it doesn't. You guys are done. Your lies are done. You holding our scriptures and acting like you, you know, they're yours, that's done. You acting like you can somehow break down scriptures with absolutely no precepts and no understanding, that's done too. You can have the ones that the Most High doesn't want. So just because you find a couple of black people that'll sit there and listen to your BS and go to your churches, those ones aren't worth anything anyways. The Most High doesn't care about them. That's why he lets them go to you. That's why he lets you try to teach them. Because they're just as lost as you are. Let's continue. It says, For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, saith the Most High. So the Most High is already, he's, talking, he's not talking about you Gentiles, because he didn't spread you to the four corners. He didn't spread you abroad as the four winds. He did that to his people. So this redemption of coming out of Babylon is for his people. Now, if there are Gentiles at the Most High's awakening, to cleave to the Most High's people, great. That's cool. That's all on the Most High. But let's see here. Let's check out that. Um, I said that precept right there. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Let's go up there real fast. Take a little common sense. Right here. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. This is the, more of the curses that fell on our people. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So see, we didn't know anything about white Jesus. We didn't know anything about party all the time Jesus until you brought that mess over here. So again, this is talking about the curses that were on the Most High's chosen people. So we were the ones that were under the curses. We were the ones that were blinded by white Jesus. And at the end, the Most High is going to awaken his people to come out of Babylon, to come out of your churches. So you don't get to, you don't get to play both parts. You guys don't get to be the ones bringing confusion to the whole world and then being the ones to lead people out of confusion at the end. That's not your job. That's our job. That's the Most High's chosen people's job. It's our job to bring, you know, clarity to a, a darkened world. You guys don't get to do all that. So you get sick and tired of hearing you guys acting like you guys know something when you know absolutely nothing. You know how to lie. You know how to hide the truth. You know how, how to hide the people. You know how to ignore the truth when it's right in front of your face. So again, Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there, shalt thou, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father, okay, fathers, have known, even wood and stone. So you guys make up all of that stuff. You guys make up all of these false, false idols. So like I said, these this one verse right here, Zechariah 2 and 6, with these three precepts right here, proves exactly that Babylon, you guys cannot come out of Babylon. The people that were asked or you know given the opportunity to come out of Babylon are the most highest chosen people. And once we come out of Babylon, we are enlightened, and then we become a light to the other nations that actually the most high calls to get this truth. They're, they're not going to wake up by listening to you Babylonian churches. They're not going to end up, they're not going to come out of this listening to Babylonian priests and pastors. 
they're about, the priests and pastors are set up to continue to keep the vast majority of the people asleep. We, on the other hand, you know, are the opposite. We're the one to lead. We're the ones to lead the people to light. We're the ones that are being used by the Most High to lead the people to light, to lead them to our power. So the next time they talk about Revelation 18 and 4, tell them to show you the receipts. Tell them to show you where it talks about how Gentiles are allowed to, to do this. How they are not, you know, actually the part of Babylon. They're not going to be able to prove it anyways because they they can't. They are Babylon. So they can't. Babylon can't lead people out of Babylon. Only the Most High has chosen people and the ones that the Most High has given this knowledge and understanding have that job. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.